All right, what's going on guys? Try back again. Here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another character spotlight video post seeing the first half of The Walking Dead Season 5 television series on AMC. This one I'm going to be giving my final thoughts on the character of Dawn Lerner played by Christine Woods. All right, so I think this is going to be a fun one. We're going to talk about the character. I want you guys to give your thoughts as well on her in the comments below. So write just what you thought about her. Did you like her? Did you hate her? Did you think she was a good villain? Did you think she wasn't scary enough? She wasn't enough like the governor? She wasn't intimidating enough? Or she wasn't maybe as crazy as, well, I don't know if I want to call Gareth crazy, but she wasn't as uh, fearsome because he is, I think Gareth is pretty fearsome. Um, just let me know what you guys think about her in the, uh, the comments below. This one will contain spoilers for anybody who has not seen Cody yet, the mid-season finale. I expect pretty much everybody is, has at this point because, I mean, you know, it's, it's all over the internet. You know, so many sites, even IGN and everybody else, you know, posting everything. And, and now it's being shown on Fox, I believe, earlier than it was years before where people in other countries a lot of times would have to wait, um, you know, like a week to see the episode. Now, you know, people are getting to see it earlier. So I'm not as worried as usual as I used to be in the previous season about spoilers and stuff about doing character spotlights but uh, yeah I kind of expect everybody in the channel to have you know be 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 fans of The Walking Dead watch The Walking Dead once they can um, but spoiler warning just in case so with regards to Dawn you know as a villain you know Christine Woods obviously I think she's a great actress she did a fantastic job with her uh, my probably my favorite with her was um, you know the last episode Coda when when she's with uh, O'Donnell and, uh, and 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 she she cries and you get the uh, the tear that comes down just one side you know of the of the eye and everything and she just really did a great job at showing kind of at giving that character some more life than she really could have had you know if you you look at a, a villain like Joe I feel like they didn't really flesh him out very much in terms of his group I mean we understood what his group was we got it and they were kind of to fill out the season but I don't really feel like Don's group, uh, the Grady Memorial Hospital, was to fill out the season. I really feel like um, they did do a good job fleshing out those characters. And because Beth is such a fan favorite character from the series now, you know, going into season, second half of season four, I remember like just a lot of people really like Beth as a character after that point. And, uh, you know, I started to like her a lot too as a character. You know, I think she, she became a really great character, better than I thought she originally could be. And she, she did. So um, Dawn, as a villain in Grady Memorial, I thought was just a really cool location because, um, you know, in my videos last year in season four, I was talking about us, you know, getting to see some different locations and kind of getting tired of the same type of, you know, wandering around in the forest type deal, the prison, all that. So this season has been really cool that we've had a group of villains that are operating out of Atlanta itself. So I really like the fact that we brought us they brought they brought us back to Atlanta with Dawn and you know her group at Grady and just just really you know gave us some great kind of uh, envir environment shots you know getting to see Atlanta again and getting to see their hospital they live in a really weird situation which I don't know if it is a hundred percent realistic for a zombie apocalypse but if you think of it she does she does have a team of officers right so these are not just your 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 every man your average people this is a this is a cohesive unit with hardware you know they have you know obviously their guns are going to have access to ammunition if they need to go on supply runs and they have the keys and everything just like Rick you know type thing maybe even more because they're city so for a big city like Atlanta they're going to have stockpiles so if they go and loot the place of guns and whatever else they need they're going to be well stocked don't you think so if they can lock out the outside of Grady and they can make it so that walkers can't get in and they have a way to just kind of just humans get in and out then um okay you know uh, all right you know uh, i won't say it's uh, i don't think it's 100 percent realistic but all right we'll give it to them you know it's uh, it's it, it, i guess it does make sense because they are well well trained that they would be good survivors so her as a leader and as a character she's a cool villain because she's kind of like a beth villain you know you get certain characters in the series that um they you know you'll have a villain and then you'll have a, a, a character from the survivors from rick's group of course and you'll have a you know a, a kind of like their arch nemesis or villain you know that to, to to go against you know this this type of uh, situation which they created with Beth and her where they it's kind of like you know they have a uh, you know a 
they have a relationship between the two. Beth saves Dawn. She pushes O'Donnell into the uh, the elevator shaft. Uh, so the two of them, she fights for Dawn. You know, she has uh, <laughs> uh, what's what's that called? Stockholm syndrome, maybe a little bit, or she doesn't. But but for a second there, you almost think she starts to like Dawn, even though Dawn is basically her captor, right? So she develops that. Uh, you know, well, not entirely, but you you guys get what I'm saying. She's kind of a she's. It seems like she might starting to be getting there where she realizes Dawn is her cap, cap uh, she's captive, she's her cap, uh, you know, uh, capturer, or sorry, that's not a word, but, you know, she's the person that uh, that took her captive, and yet uh, Dawn at the same time may, act, or sorry, Beth at the same time may actually be starting to like Dawn, it seems, at, at certain parts, right, especially right up to there near the end. Um, however, even though it seems like a little bit that she, at that part, it seemed like she was because she was willing to help her and fight for her, um, at the same time afterwards with what happens with Noah, Beth realizes that, no, you know, she's not a good person. She's not good. And uh, what she didn't need to do that with Noah. And Beth's right, you know. So Beth is, you know, major spoilers here, you know, basically gives her life to save Noah's, right? Whereas, uh, you know, because she doesn't want him basically being Don's slave, you know, which is what, what the wards really are. In my opinion, my interpretation is, the wards are basically the officers' slaves. You know, they'll just work all the time. They they have no lives. They're not allowed to leave. They can't do anything. They're just forced to work. They're like they're. It's worse than being in prison. You know, you're basically like a, a prison work camp or something. You know, of of the type of thing where you just have to just take care of them all the time, clean their stuff, and you know, mop the floors and sew their whatever, and just go to their beck and call, do whatever you have to do for them all around the clock. So, uh, you know. With that, of course, I mean, Dawn is evil, the fact that she doesn't let people leave, you know. Uh, also, of course, we get to kind of find out a little bit about what happened with Hanson, who was her previous uh, mentor or captain, so to speak, um, you know, a lieutenant or, you know, a level above her. She answered to him type deal. You guys get, you know, the pyramid structure of however that worked, uh, as well as everybody else. And it seems she was the only one that was able to actually kill him. So you have this weird, strange group um, situation, which I don't know if I want to compare it to Rick and Shane and what was going on with the survivors then, but you have this situation where she doesn't trust anybody else in the group, right? Um, because she killed Hanson, so it's like she gets upped because she was willing to do it, right? And everybody else is scared of her to a degree because she's actually willing to pull the trigger. She's willing to go through with it and do it, right? And you, you get the feeling that the others are do respect her for that or they're kind of a little maybe a little bit afraid of her, so they, they answer to her. But at the same time, you know, she realizes and she knows that it's not a you know 100 percent like they didn't they didn't vote her in or anything or they didn't choose her and they don't they don't they don't answer to her out of love so you have inner turmoil within the group and you know i mean don getting to that spot by basically taking out the previous person that was there you know be, being a usurper you know she did that then you have others like O'Donnell and the others here that, you know, you get the sense they're going to do that too. And, and he kind of does, really, right, when you think about it. So, um, you know, it's a weird group uh, mechanic, and it obviously drives a lot of her uh, her motivations, a lot of the things she does. Like you can see her look over her shoulder when she, when she requests or she demands. I shouldn't say requests. She demands they hand over Noah, of course, right? And, um, you know, you got to think, does she really care that much about Noah to, to you know, is this a really a, a good decision in the situation? But I think she kind of thinks that she is basically, she is, she is screwed if she doesn't look strong. You know what I mean? Like, like she's got this mentality that she has to look like the power position. And you heard that other cop say it as well, too, that she doesn't, she's not going to want to look weak in front of the others. So... Yeah, I would just say all in all, I mean, it was uh, it was it was a good storyline. I did like her as kind of like a Beth villain. You know, it was cool that they that they gave Beth enough time to even kind of give her her own villain. It's pretty incredible when you think about it. Because like, look at the amount of villains we've actually had in The Walking Dead. There aren't that many. In addition to that, another reason why I did uh, like Dawn in the end uh, as a villain is because she's so different from every other villain we've had before. You know, she's nothing really like hardly any of the others. You know, she's not not like she's 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 evil to a degree because she refuse she takes people captive and refuses to let them go 
But at the same time, she's not like, you know, she's not like Gareth and what he does. You know, she's not on the same level as someone like the governor, I wouldn't say. Uh, she's probably a lot better than he is, you know. Um, so I don't know. She's just, uh, she's a really different type of character in a different location. It's something really different from what we're used to in The Walking Dead. And I think that it's important for them to always keep the show new, keep it interesting, keep things being different all the time. Even if some people have, everyone's going to have their favorites. Like some people maybe like season four the best with, you know, Too Far Gone and all that. Some people maybe liked the Terminus and the Hunters the best. Others maybe previous seasons like season three and what happened with Merle and the others. And as long as they keep it different, you know, they keep changing it. I don't think it's going to get stale. I don't think people will get tired of it. The only time people really will get tired of it is if uh, if it's probably always the same, like repetitive. And that's not what you want. So I think... Based on that, Don was a cool villain. Um, you know, the ending of the ending of Coda could have gone a lot differently. They could have done some different things with it, but it was a pretty unique uh, ending in and of itself with how it how it turned out. And it was really tense, and I did like it quite a bit. So those are kind of my final thoughts on Don. I did like her as a villain. I thought in the end she was she was a good villain, especially for Beth. Uh, and I'm really impressed with how much time they actually gave Beth in the uh, in the series. And I'm excited to see what other characters are going to get, you know, concentration in the future now with this kind of new formula that, you know, again, they're going to change. It won't always be like that. But, you know, uh, kind of this, this new concentration away from always concentrating on Rick to a lot of the other characters so that they can get full-fledged stories out themselves in the bigger umbrella that is The Walking Dead. So let me know what you guys thought about Dawn. Um, those are kind of all my thoughts, you know, can, can you know, um, done with it, done with giving my thoughts on the character there. That's that's it for me. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about uh, her, Grady, everything like that. I think it's kind of cool that it's in such a similar location to where the series started in Season 1, even getting to see it in some uh, background shots and stuff with Rick on the roof and that. So, uh, which actually was kind of Season 2, but you guys get what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, so if you guys like the video, please thumb it up below. If you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it. And that's it for this one, guys. Uh, I'll see you again for the next one. If you missed the best spotlight, it's in the video. Why don't you go ahead and check it out? It's, uh, I think it's pretty good. Anyway, uh, as always, Trev, same piece, guys. See you for the next one.